Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video using the Mind the Scrap October kit. To begin with, I took some mixed media paper and cut it to 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. Um, I'm then going to mat this onto design paper. With it being mixed media paper, it means you don't have to use any gesso um, if you're going to be using sprays and watercolours, things like that on it. I've taken my stencil which came in the mixed media kit and I'm just using some texture paste and um, creating a pattern down, diagonally down the page, tapering to the bottom with the leaves. I use a metal spatula to do that, it works really well, it's very accurate to use as well. And I also let the first bit dry before I carry on, I mean you could use a a heat tool to dry it, leave it to dry naturally or if you've got a steady hand you could hold the corner of the stencil up so it doesn't smudge but I like to just leave it and get on with other things for the day and come back after. So I'm almost done there and that's the texture paste done. So now I'm getting my pattern paper. The pattern paper there is um, Colourful Leaves from the Autumn Collection by Cartabella and I've taken spray inks out and with the scrap left over from my mixed media pad because it was A3 I'm just doing a bit of a tester on the side spraying some inks, dabbing them up um, and choosing colours that go well with the leaves and the paper and the colours there that I've used are Distress Sprays in Carved Pumpkin, Candied Apple and Fossilised Amber and uh, Shimmer's colourings called Oh Say Can You See. I'm also trying now to recreate the darker colour because I don't have a dark ink and so I've used the Mr Huey's Pretty Pink which came in last month or month before's kit and Candied Apple and I'm just spraying um, Wilted Violet over the top and it does actually come out the perfect colour but because of the purple around the edge I didn't want to use it because there's no purple in the paper so I didn't think it would go very well. I'm just trimming my picture now and checking that I'm happy with the colours so far. Now what I did there was sprinkle water onto the paper and then leave it for a good minute. I'm doing it again there for an extra layer. And then I just leave it to one side, get on with something else, like here I'm sifting through my ephemera. And then when I come back to it, I dab it up and it just brings up some of the colours and gives an extra, you know, a bit more dimension to it, I guess. Um, now I knew I wanted to use that little fox and I'm just sifting through the rest of the ephemera pack. And that's the Pebbles Autumn ephemera. And I've also pulled out the Tiny Word stickers also by Pebbles and the enamel dots which are from the Cartabella Autumn collection. So what I've got there is water, I spritz water down before I use my alcohol inks. It sort of spreads them better. You can get different effects depending on how much water you use, how much ink you use and how you mix them. Now what I do is I do put down, um, most of the time I do put down inks that are quite different in colour separately in case they go muddy. So I'm um, adding my more muted colours first and then I'm gonna I think I add some red on top of that and some extra water there as well and then dabbing it up. With this effect I've put my texture texture paste down first so the colour sits onto the texture paste but if you add your colour first and then texture paste on top then you get a nice sharp white or whatever colour texture paste you use um, image off your stencil um, on top which is really effective as well but I want to do it this way around this time around and there um, now I'm on the main page I'm doing the sprinkling water effect on there as well and so I carry on messing around and dabbing up adding spray different bits to my paper until I'm happy with it and in that bowl there is in the corner is just all the ephemera. I go through my ephemera, try and pick out what I think will work with the layout, what's the right colour, and then I'll gradually um, take bits out as I go along. I'm adding a bit of the green there just because I want to bring out the colour. And as you can see there, I'm happy with it now, so I'm moving on. 
this is my pattern paper so what I do is cut out the middle so I can use the middle piece for more projects and then I glue my paper to the pattern paper and because I did use the mixed media paper it means it's not warped if it does warp you can always just use a whole piece of paper behind it and it'll keep it flatter but I like to use quite a lot of um, tape to stick it down so it's nice and secure and it does keep it nice and straight so now I'm going to have a look at where I want to place my paper and turn it round till I decide how I want my paper. I mean I've changed the direction of it now but um, once I do spray on things sometimes I change my mind of the direction I want to go in. So that orange paper is just the back of the leaf paper so it matches perfectly and I just want to use that as a mat around the picture because it ties in nicely and then I'll be adding some more leaf paper that's a, um, that echoes the frame to it, I guess. And so I'm sticking that down. And now I need something else to pop the picture up, something darker. So I take out this um, cherry, dark cherry coloured wood. And that one is uh, Jen Hadfield Warm and Cozy Fall Bot Botanical. And it's got a beautiful um, fall... Uh, autumn autumnal picture on the back with newsprint behind it but I'm going to use this side for this project and then I do actually trim it down a little bit more as well because I don't want it to be too heavy and I found it after I'd put it down I found it a little bit heavy so I did trim some off it. I'm taking out my thickers now so I can work out where I'll put my title before I add ephemera and other things and I've already got the My Friend, so I'm adding Mr. Fox. My thickers are Black Foam and it's called Together, the um, name of those ones. So I'm adding my uh, My Friend banner. Um, I'm using Multi Mix Medium to do that because it is over um, texture paste. When, it's, when the background's quite textured, I find that the tape run, runner doesn't work, so I tend to add tape and mixed media to the back of my photo and then um, mix multimedia to the back of the photo and the other things and I've used just a fine line applicator um, it's decanted into that so I can use it to um, stick down tiny things so the fox is going on now and then I'm just literally throwing embellishments on where I think maybe they'd look nice I go over the top at the moment so I add loads and then I gradually take them away as I decide where I think things should go and which things should stay and which things I take back out again. And then I love the trees behind there but not for this project so I'm hoping to use them in another probably along with the little hedgehog there. So I keep messing around with them trying to place them and eventually I'll decide what I want. And where and I switched those around because I wanted the smaller embellishment in the corner just because obviously I've got it like fine to thicker towards the bottom so it sort of echoes it a bit better there and I'm adding my tiny word stickers there as well and I'm doing three at the bottom three at the top so it's um mirrors in a way I guess um, so I'm gluing that down now, I'm happy with those. And I think I'll probably add a few more sprays after this. Once I've got everything glued down. I'll be leaving the links below um, where you can buy mine the scrap kits from and along with um, my Facebook page um, so you can join my group if you want to and um, you'll know about when my next videos are coming out. This is my first video so feel, feel free to leave comments about constructive criticism um, I'll try and improve as I go along. Um, oh I've added some enamel dots now, I've added three at the top and three at the bottom and now I'm just adding a few more splashes of the mixed media that I've used so the sprays back just to add a bit more colour a few splatters that are a little bit darker leave them on a bit longer before I dab them up and then 
in addition to those I'll be adding some black um, spritzing ink by Ducras Artiste which is um, oh what's that one called Black Knight and then I also use some colour shine in gold just to tie in the black thickers and just the gold just because it's pretty and that's it done and here's the pictures in a better light and some close-ups for you thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me thanks again bye